<laughs> Only 6 a.m. That's good. Honey, breakfast is ready. Coming. This is Mr. Stink. He lived with his wife and kids in a three-bedroom, two-bathroom detached house in London, England. This is his wife, Mrs. Stink. And these are their kids, George and Judy. And this is their dog, the Duchess. They had an expensive house, but they didn't have enough money to buy a car, so Mr. Sting had to catch the train to get to work, and the kids had to walk to school, which isn't very far. Mr. Sting works at a toy factory in Scotland. Mr. Sting was super decent and likes to spend time with the kids, like going to the playground and taking them swimming. His life was pretty good until one night. Everybody was going to bed, and Mrs. Sting asked Mr. Sting for a favor. Honey, can you empty out the dishwasher, and can you please blow out the candle from dinner? Huh? Sure. Thank you. All right, that's the last of the dishes. I'm going to bed now. I am tired. Mr. Sting went to bed, but the candle was still lit. The candle was rolling towards the curtains. The curtains caught on fire. Fire was spreading all over the house. The Duchess was really scared, so she went upstairs to wake up Mr. Stink. What do you want, Duchess? Do you smell smoke? Oh my god! Honey, honey, wake up! Huh? What is it? What is it? There's a fire in the house! Oh my god! Get the kids quick! They managed to escape before the house was burnt down to the ground. I'm sorry, honey. I forgot to blur out the candle. You could have killed the whole family! So Mr. and Mrs. Stink divorced, and she took the kids. Mr. Stink did not have his house or his job, but what he did have was the Duchess. A few years later, Mr. Stink stank. He also stunk. And if it's the correct English to say that he stinked, then he stinked as well. He was the stinkiest, stinky stinker who ever lived. No one was really friendly to him or ever had a chat with him, until one day when a little girl plucked the courage to say hi to him. The end.